Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back in the kitchen tonight. Um, I really need to spend more time in the kitchen, more time recording, more time, uh, more time uh, doing doing what I like to do on here. So I downloaded this GIMP program for a, a Photoshop type thing, I'm trying to figure it out so I can make labels for the jars for the seasoning. So. Getting a pretty pretty good response from the everybody that's tried it. Um, those of you who know me know know Sean, Sean the mechanic. All of a sudden, the Blackstone and Connoisseur turned him on turned him on to using the Blackstone. Um, he is really good at it. Makes really pretty food, really tasty food. I turned him on to two bottles of this stuff last night, and he made ham and bacon ham and bean soup or something like that nothing to do with this stuff so um, he's gonna he give it a try and he's giving me a critique on it just I hope he gives me a critique on it um, what he likes what he doesn't like about it um, tonight uh, this uh, spatchcock turkey that, that I boned out I'm gonna cut this up in little pieces throw it in this throw it in this bowl now I'm gonna take his green onions Cut them up into little pieces, throw them in this bowl. And then this leftover celery stalks, cut that into little pieces. You guessed it, put it in this bowl. And uh, a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of mayo, I believe. And we're gonna we're gonna do some turkey salad for sandwiches. I'll come back with my work phone. I gotta take that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I had to take that phone call from work co-worker um, I got uh, got all the, all the celery and onions and everything chopped up along with that turkey pretty good pretty good ratio of, of green to meat so it smells wonderful I'm telling you so we're take take some mayo here I think I just I just want enough to get it um, this amount Pretty moistened up with it. Um, this is, uh, I just want it to stick together really well. So, uh, just a, just enough to stick together really well. And I'll add some seasoning. Y'all know the seasoning. See what happens. Oh yeah, there you go. A little bit of this stuff on the on the wheat bread. It'd be great. My watch in there on the phone. This ca this camera up here is lagging something fierce. See that? I think I gotta replace it. Just a little pinch of that. A little pinch like that. That'll be beautiful. So we'll mix this up. Adds a little bit of color, not a whole lot of color. A little bit of smell, not a whole lot of smell. Another pinch. Another pinch. We'll see see how this rolls out. Uh, we do all kinds of cool stuff with this. This is pretty basic. Um, I add green onions because I like green onions. We call them shallots. And uh, we have these uh, marinated artichoke hearts, caramia. Oh no, I haven't, I haven't tried them yet. I'm gonna try it. And if I like them, I'll probably eat them. Probably won't, probably won't throw any of them in this stuff. But that's about the consistency I like. Nice and sticky. It'll stick to the bread. You can, you know, use a pita bread or a wonder bread or whatever. And 
if you toast if you toast a uh, an English muffin one of the extra crispies from the Laurel Wheat or Franz this stuff's really good on it if you really want really want a tasty treat take a slice of American cheese melt it over the top that'd be a beautiful gig right there so that's where we're at we got the little pounder uh, pound and a half maybe two pounds of turkey in there uh, three three and a half celery stalks they keep progressively getting smaller um, and half a dozen shallots chopped up fine throwing it in there they got a pretty good color color combination in there um, you can't tell with that camera really uh, maybe it's those lights can you see the colors in there now a little bit ah, a little bit so uh, I'm gonna do some of this up onto a sandwich or two and have it for dinner and have a salad uh, not gonna do a whole bunch of extravagant cooking tonight uh, the wifey ate, ate pretty good at school today she's not real hungry so why should I cook a whole bunch uh, thank you all for tuning in I appreciate y'all make sure you check out uh, Big Top Farms uh, Facebook storefront which is Sweetgrass Hemp Co uh, for all your CBD meat products and needs go check them out go check out their Facebook page tell them the hillbilly sent you and uh, I get, I get nothing for promoting them. They, they helped me out with the battle of cancer that I went through. So once again, thanks, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will be, I will be packaging up some Pops seasoning. Um, I am on my way to marketing that stuff. So we'll see you soon. For God's sake, please eat well.